Random screenshots I found on my phone, part 33. When you're letting your little brother win the game, but then he starts bragging about how good he is, I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. Day one at the gym, just finished taking a shit, let's start the workout. Please look at my professor, he turns 75 and we threw him a surprise party with his favourite cheesecake. And mom gives you a haircut. Interesting fact, t-shirt is actually short for Tyrannosaurus shirt because of the short arms. I thought it standard for tiny shirt. When she wants Netflix and chill, but the show was actually pretty good. I'm a vampire, I'm a zombie, I'm front facing Phineas. My son just walked into my room and said, Daddy, I'm scared to die, not of going to hell. I don't think there's such a place, but I guess I'm scared there's nothing. There was nothing before, so what if there's nothing after? He's 37 years old and on acid. British people be like, wakes up during a heart transplant. Right, what's all this then? Actually, I beg to differ because uh, I woke up doing a surgery once and I was not calm and collect at all. In fact, I wasn't even moving. I could feel everything, but I wasn't moving. And if you're wondering, yes, it was painful. Of course it would be painful. Your stomach is wide open. You, you, all you can do is just lay there on the hospital table, or whatever the frick they call them things, while you feel a bunch of fingers and knives going in and out of your stomach. And you can't scream, you can't tell them to stop, you can't do anything, all you can do is just lay there and endure the pain and scream inside your head for eternity. So, if there isn't nothing after life, if hell does exist, then I'm pretty sure that was it. And uh, if any of you are curious as to what I would describe that kind of pain as, imagine you're, you have sleep paralysis, right? You can't move, you can't open your eyes, you can't do anything. But sleep paralysis is different from waking up during a surgery. It feels like, well, it feels like sleep paralysis basically, but you feel three pairs of fingers, meaning three different types of hands, digging in your freaking stomach and it hurts. Then you feel the cold, sharp blade of a scalpel going into your stomach and trying to remove what, you, what is your heart from your stomach because the doctors think that it's cancer. But uh, anyway, moving on. Me sharing the new hire around at work, and this is where I come to cry. I wasn't in class for a few minutes and all my friends texted me, I'm crying. I could be missing for a whole month and no one would notice. Huh, speaking of people not noticing stuff, um, I actually, well, I don't know if this video is gonna get taken down if I say this, but I actually, um, committed to bye-bye once, jumped off a bridge. It was not put on the news. My parents didn't know, or my parent didn't know. Nobody seemed to care. And I thought that was weird, because usually when people do this stuff, it's all over the news. And then I, came, I was brought back to life by this idiot over here. I saved your but whatever. life. whatever. Point is, nobody noticed. Oh. I and saved this girl's life, and this yeah. is the things I get. I, I just, I guess nobody cares. Well, I care. That's why I brought you back. My coffee art today is a cat letting off an atomic bomb. Culinary school students be like, bruh, I got spaghetti, do it too. Anyway, that's not for now, bye.